please subscribe my channel. And press the bell icon button like comment share, whether you're scraping the bottom of the barrel to put enough cash together so you can join the club, or you're looking to spend your tax refund on a high-end 1911, we've got you covered. With the amount of 1911 pistols on offer today there is certainly a valid question certainly to be asked, which are the best 1911 pistols for the money? So, we decided to dig deep into this topic. In order to find the answer, we scoured the internet and narrowed down a collection of what we believe to be the best all around. 1911 handguns for just about any budget. A 1911 pistol and the .45 ACP. Class is unmatched in effectiveness as a top preference among professionals. Given that the 1911 is a simple pistol to modify, thanks to its compact slide design, slender grip frame, and single stack 7 round magazine it is an excellent weapon for self-defense and concealed carry. Born from the genius of John M. Browning, the handgun is among the most iconic of all time. Honorable service. Through two world wars, countless other conflicts and in the hands of law enforcement and armed citizens alike tends to elevate stock. So, Today the venerable pistol remains a giant among guns. Even with the onslaught of polymer pistols flooding the market, the 1911 pistol is a unique and familiar handgun which, under adverse conditions, has become associated with efficiency, reliability and durability. While we have to be careful about making definite statements, I might just go out on a limb and do it this time. There are a few things more fun to shoot than full-size 1911s chambered in 9mm, and you're looking at the Nighthawk Custom President. I've had more fun with this gun in the past couple days than I've had with pistols in a long time. While the President is an incredible shooter, it's also an incredible looker. You can't help but notice the gold barrel, which is a gold titanium nitride coating, and it's match grade, of course, so it's extremely accurate. If you look closely at the front sight, you'll notice this 18 karat solid gold bead. That's a nice touch. Looking closely at the slide, you'll find heavy angled lightning cuts. Now this does lighten up the slide significantly, so spring rates needed to be changed. But trust me, it's an extremely reliable gun that had no problems functioning at all. The president gets what they call a tri-cavity trigger, and the brake is right around three pounds. Getting a grip on the president won't be a problem with these incredible G10 grips, which are narrowed out at the back end. In classic Nighthawk custom fashion, we've got our Heine ledge rear sights that are all black, no tritium inserts, which aren't necessary on this type of pistol. As you might imagine, the Nighthawk custom president has many more features, all of which help you to shoot at your best. In fact, it allows you to shoot better, and that's what a good gun is supposed to do. I can do things with a president that I can't do with other pistols. It's a lot of fun, and if you can't tell, I really like it. Pontiac and I write for the firearm blog. Right now I have in my hands the new Springfield Armory 10 mil operator with the six inch slide. It's being a TRP operator, it's gonna have the accessory rail underneath so you can hold a multitude of different accessories 
It has the OctoGrip checkering on the rear mainspring housing as well as the front strap. You also have a VZ Dirty All grip that has good texturing as well as a lot of curb appeal to this pistol. Just like some of the other TRP operator models, this has night sights with the rear sight being an adjustable Bomar rear sight. You have extended ambi safety selector. You have the straight hammer extended beaver tail safety. Springfield Armory is proud to present our brand new five and six inch TRP operators in 10 millimeter. The TRP Operator, the most elite production 1911 that we offer, now in an ideal cartridge with tactically proven engineering for better performance and more stopping power than any other production caliber pistol when it counts. The 5-inch 10mm TRP Operator comes equipped with a tritium tactical rear sight and a tritium front sight, while the 6-inch 10mm features a fully adjustable tritium rear sight both in a sleek black tee finish. Look no further for trusted performance than spring to redefining the defensive compact handgun with the EDCX9. Wilson Combat has developed a new, longer, five inch full size version, the X9L. Geared towards defensive and recreational shooters that prefer a longer sight radius. Designed by Bill Wilson and Wilson Combat Engineers, the ergonomic design of the high-capacity compact X-frame grip, in conjunction with an enlarged trigger guard window and your choice of radius trigger pad length, fits all hand sizes comfortably and improves recoil control. The EDC X9L design combines the accuracy, ergonomics, and trigger pull of the classic 1911 with enhanced everyday carry reliability. Up to 18 rounds of modern service pistol capacity. And the Wilson Combat standard of performance and innovation. The X9L match grade bushing style barrel and five inch slide assembly featuring the Wilson Combat Enhanced Reliability System are tailored to the varying power levels of nine millimeter ammunition and maintains impressive reliability in all conditions, even when heavily fouled and low on lubrication. For shooters who prefer mini red dot sights, the EDC X9L is available in our new True Zero handgun optic system, compatible with select aim point, trigicon, or loophole modules. The new optional X9 aluminum magwell will ensure faster, smoother reloads in a tactical or competition situation and extends the grip for shooters with large hands. Other features include a tri-top slide profile with user-replaceable front sight, single lug tapered cone match grade 1911 barrel, rear tactical adjustable battle sight, and a rugged user serviceable external extractor. This is the all new EDC X9L from Wilson Combat. There's no doubt that the pistol game has significantly changed, especially when it comes to carry pistols. But windows to the sides, is that really necessary? Maybe not. And it's nice to know that Nighthawk Customs has remembered that. The Bull Commander, as you see here, has just those things that you need and not too much of the stuff that is unnecessary. The Bull Commander has a 4.25 inch match grade barrel. Finishing out the front of the Bull Commander is what Nighthawk Custom calls the Bull Nose Front. And it has this slant you see right here. This actually aids in getting the pistol back into the holster easier. When it's time to send rounds down range, you'll find that the sights are extremely adequate. There's a tritium front dot sight and a Heine Ledge straight eight rear sight.
Love or hate the 1911, there's no denying that the single stack frame is easy to get a grip on. It points well, and this particular one is very controllable, even though it's chambered in 45 ACP. It has tremendous shootability, and part of that is thanks to the three and a half to four pound trigger, which is extremely crisp. When it comes time to reload, this one piece Magwell mainspring housing is going to be a real treat for you. Don't be mistaken, the Bull Commander is a feature packed carry pistol and far from mundane or boring. It's simply wrapped up in a more streamlined, sophisticated package. It's a typical example of Nighthawk custom quality and attention to detail and what you've come to expect from them. While I'm not a 45 ACP kind of guy, if I were one, the Nighthawk Custom Bull Commander might surely be on my list of pistols to own. It makes the 45 ACP easy. New SR1911 from Ruger. What's new about it? Well, it's a little bit more powerful now in 10mm. The 10mm Auto SR1911 features all the standard features of the SR1911 family. A skeletonized aluminum trigger with over travel stop. It has a uh, slightly larger magazine release. A thumb rest uh, safety, manual safety. We also have the skeletonized hammer, beaver tail grip, but there's a couple of uh, advanced features on this model. Uh, that starts with the fully adjustable Bomar rear sight, uh, blacked out front target sight, and as you may have noticed, this has a bull barrel. This is a uh, stainless steel bushingless bull barrel. It is nitride coated, and of course we also have here the full length guide rod on the 10 millimeter. Also features rubberized grips, help you get a good grip and hold on to it. The new SR1911 from Ruger. Hey folks, Cav here with the Sig Sauer Academy and Mando. I have a super special pistol here to talk to you about. We've got the Sig 1911 We the People. So this was designed as a tribute to the birth of our nation. Uh, there's no shadow of a doubt in my mind that if George Washington were alive today, he'd be rocking the heck out of this pistol. I'm definitely picking one up for myself. There's a lot of custom uh, design, uh, custom built parts, and also uh, etchings into this pistol we need to talk about, because I think you're going to be really impressed. Let's talk about some of the design engravings. We've got 1776, of course, hence, birth the, hence the, the birth of our nation. We've got the uh, 13 stars on the top here in a circle, uh, signifying our 13 original colonies. On the other side of the pistol, we the people, Declaration of Independence, our Constitution. And also, on either side of the grips here, our aluminum grips, we've got 25 stars on either side, uh, signifying the 50 stars for the 50 states that we have. There's a distressed finish on this uh, particular pistol here that I really dig. Gives it a good, smooth, solid, distressed look to it. I really, really like this a lot. We've got a uh, contoured uh, slide in that. Uh, it's more of a traditional slide, so we can it'll fit into any type of uh, holsters you can find out there for your 1911s. Based off your 1911 design, uh, your single action function, you've got a cock and lock system, so your hammer is cocked to the rear, uh, your, your manual safety is up, uh, locked in the, into position, and you've got your uh, grip safety. So in order to fire this pistol, like most of your other 1911s out there, what you're going to have to do is get a good solid grip on this pistol, work that ambidextrous manual safety in the downward position, and what that'll give you is a good smooth five pound trigger pull. Really like the way that works. We've got a long elongated beaver tail for a good smooth high tail grip, uh, which will help to mitigate a little bit of excess uh, recoil for the 45 uh, and also a little faster follow-up shots on target. Thanks for watching. Product by link given in description.